You can change the look and feel of an electronic business card in a number of ways. You can add an image, or change the background color, format text, and make the cards easier to read by using empty space. Also, you can save time or give your card a more polished look and feel by using a card template and I'll show you how at the end of this video. Let's start with images. Outlook provides a default image for electronic business cards, this gray swatch here. To use this image, open the Edit Business Card dialog box and select an option from the layout list. You can place it on the right, left, top, bottom, or make it your background image. If you want to use another image, click Change. Locate the picture you want to use and insert it. Use the options in the layout list and the image align list. And notice that if the image is too big, you can make it smaller by changing the value in the image area box like this. To change a background color, click Background, and then select a color. You can see that the text doesn't stand out against the new background very well, so I'll select the Full Name field, click the Font Color button, apply a different color, and repeat. You can also change the font size and make your text bold, italic, or underlined, but remember that simple designs tend to work best. Also, cards may be easier to read if they have some white space between elements, so click one of the blank line fields and move it up. I'll try a second one, and I like that. Finally, if you want to, you can use a business card template. Go to this page on office.com and the quick reference card at the end of this course has a link to this page. Select the template you want to use. Click Download and save the template to a convenient place. For example, you can save it to your Documents folder. Once you save it, it opens as a new contact. Replace the fake data with your own and edit the card if you need to. If you make a mistake and you can't remember what you did, you can click Reset Card. Just remember that undoes all your changes. Once you're done, click Save and Close. And finally, if you want to use the template again to make a card for someone else, for example, or to make a second card for yourself, just go back to where you saved the template, double-click to open it, edit the data, and save.